Today we're going to be talking about a new tool that YouTube released that lets people subscribe to your YouTube channel directly from your website. Also a new monetization strategy for those of you guys who are looking to make money from your audiences other than AdSense. That and a lot more is coming up. Hey guys, my name is Tim Schmoyer and welcome to another Tuesday where every week we just take a look at what happened in the online video space the week before and talk about what it means for us as video creators. I am on the road right now on the way to VidCon and so we're in a little different setup here but there's still a lot of great stuff that we want to talk about with you guys including first of all YouTube's new little script that you can put in your website. Here's what it looks like on on Vice, uh, you know, it's right down here in the corner. It's just a red YouTube button right here. Now, what I don't like about it is how, you know, the like Facebooks and Twitters on website, it has like a call to action built into it, right? It says like, like this or follow here, but this just says YouTube. I would prefer if this said like subscribe or had like a call to action. If you want to embed that into your website, just a quick little script just right here is what it looks like. And you guys can just, uh, I'll put a link in the, to this in the description text below so you guys can just go uh, check that out. The second thing we got going on here is this Chromecast. Maybe a lot of you guys have seen it, but Google released this last week, and it's basically a way for viewers to be able to just um, watch anything from right here, Netflix, YouTube, Google Play, or Chrome, a browser, whether it's from a desktop or a mobile or uh, an iPad or whatever, uh, directly straight onto their TV. So this will have a lot of implications for how people will start consuming our content. It's only $35 and they've already sold out. So you can expect that in the next a uh, couple weeks here that there will be millions of more people watching online video on their televisions, which obviously has a lot of implications for us as creators. I didn't get my hands on one of these, but if one of you guys did, I would love to hear what your experience is like with it. Uh, comment below and let me and everyone else know if this is something you think is going to be a tool that is going to be very useful and helpful as far as getting more and more video to the television screens, um, or if not. And if it is, then I think that's going to have other implications for how we engage our audiences with um, you know, comments. You know, They're going to have to be sitting with that mobile device right in their hands because they can't comment through the television. So you're going to have to encourage them to comment through their mobile devices or their computer. Also last week, John and Hank Green came out with this site called Subbable. And it's basically like Kickstarter for YouTube creators, except for it's a little different. Uh, you know, he, they have Crash Course here, which you would expect, because Hank has been talking a little bit lately about how uh, you know, YouTube gave them all this money for this channel to fund it, but now the funding's gone and they can't keep it going, make it sustainable. But the way it works is you don't have to subscribe for 50 bucks a month. You can subscribe for any amount you wish a month. And then once your account gets up to 50 bucks, then you get this message in the doobly-doo, which means to me that basically it just feels like, and I hate saying this because I hate saying anything negative about John and Hank because everything they do is awesome, but to me this just feels kind of like a payment plan for swag from creators, and I don't know if it's actually going to be sustainable or not. I know they're certainly not the first to market, like Patreon has been doing this uh, for a while now, and TubeStart is about to come out, there's a little launch here soon, and so there's others that are trying to, to do this. I think it's interesting because some would argue that what YouTube's paid subscription model is doing is basically this exact same thing, except for I think there's a very distinct difference in that when you, like the paid YouTube subscription model is actually focused on premium content and higher quality content Whereas what Hank and John are trying to do is giving creators a way to connect with their community. So there's a very different fundamental underlying purpose for both of these in the direction that the premium channels are going versus what John and Hank are doing. My prediction is that ultimately these ongoing crowdfunding websites will eventually fail, not because they're bad ideas, but because I think most of them revolve around giving perks and rewards to your viewers that are just ultimately swag. Instead, I think if they're going to work, you need to offer perks for your subscribers and supporters and backers, depending on which site you're using, that offers value to the community. Like for example, I would love to do maybe like a perk where you guys send me a video of yours and I just kind of review it for you, give you some feedback about how to improve it or what you're doing well. Or then maybe a next level perk would be your entire channel. I'll review the entire thing for 
for you. Or maybe a perk after that would be like an ongoing monthly Google Plus hangout with you and just talk about what you're doing on YouTube and how you can improve it and just kind of continually evaluating it. But the problem with all those types of things, even though I know they would offer value to you guys as part of the community, is that they're very uh, non-scalable, right? They all depend on my time. I am a finite person with limited amount of time and I can't obviously scale that in a way that would allow me to really contribute to the community here the way I would love to. So ultimately, I'm not sure if any of these platforms will succeed, but I do think they need to revolve around the community, not just like selling t-shirts and posters and stuff like that. Also last week, YouTube released their next playlist from YouTube Pro, which is, this one is about uh, management. This is like the next session here, YouTube Pro series. And it's really good. I've already watched them all, as you can see. Uh, what is a talent manager? Finding and working with talent, working with an agency. And it's not just agency manager stuff, but they also talk about YouTube networks in here. and. So if this is something that you guys are interested in as far as should I sign with a network and if so, which one and what do I look for and not look for, questions that I ask, things in the contract to be aware of, all that type of stuff, definitely watch the whole thing. It won't take you too long. It's only five videos and 30 minutes long. Uh, so I would definitely recommend you guys watch this. Also real quick, on TubeFilter last week, these guys are talking about this right here. Impressions are bought, views are earned. Talking about the difference between uh, promotion, paid promotion, and building an audience. And basically what they're talking about is that this show right here, they did uh, like 20, 30 minute episodes of episodic content uh, for Hits, Hiscox Insurance, I guess how you say that. And it, they increased their sales by 35%. It wasn't a promotional thing necessarily, but it just, it was like brand affiliation really helped out Hillcox. And so what they're saying here is that, hey, you gotta focus on storytelling. You know, stories are everything. And that's really what I wanna encourage you guys with is that when you're making your videos, focus on the storytelling aspect. I know a lot of times we wanna focus on the production aspect, but there's a really, it's really important for us to uh, really make that human connection with our audience and with the people who are viewing and tell stories, not just you know, try to do things that we think are cool or you know, heighten the experience of our videos or whatever. And the last link for you, again, all these are in the description text below, it's this one from Real SEO, and it is mastering the five Ps of online video. And what are they? Well, there's, uh, I'm not gonna go through all these because you guys can go check it out, but production, and it's just asking a lot of good questions. How long should my video be? How professional should my video look? How much money should I spend? And then questions around packaging. Well, how do I package this video? What kind of metadata, video formats, and uh, publishing, and you know, where's my video going, and how do I get it there, and promotion, how do I ensure audience discovery, and then, and then the, sec the last P, uh, profit. How am I measuring the return on my video? So good article, go check that out. It's linked up below. Thanks for bearing with me while I'm on the road traveling. Looking forward to getting a lot of great footage for you guys while I'm at VidCon here in a couple days. And if you are going to be there, remember I'm going to be at the VidIQ booth a lot doing channel reviews for you guys. So if you're gonna be there, you'd like me to check out your channel and give you some feedback and meet with you personally and talk about that, there's a link in the description text below where you can go schedule a time for us to meet and connect and do that. I'd love to meet you guys. And if you're not, make sure you find me and just say hi. Love to connect with you guys. If this is your first time hanging out, I'd love to have you subscribe. Make sure you click that subscribe button. Actually, it's below. <laughs> now I used to go like this. Make sure you click it every Tuesday. We do what you saw right here. Just take a look at online video and talking about what the news things and the updates mean for us as creators. On Wednesdays, we give you guys some tips and advice and ideas and suggestions for the content you're creating here and the communities that you're developing. And then on Thursdays, we do some YouTube Q&A with you guys. So all that's coming up. Make sure you subscribe and I will see you guys then. Bye.